there was a self-portrait and uh, uh, one of eggs and I painted over both of them yeah you can kind of see the self-portrait there I didn't like how I did I just didn't like it it just wasn't working it looks so cheesy so I went ahead and just painted over it and I'm, I'm gonna have to let it cure for a while because there's oil paint underneath there it, was, it felt dry but we all know how that is and then I took uh, this page and gessoed and a couple other things so what I'm setting up today I'm set, setting up a typewriter I'm not sure how I'm going to, to go about this what size yet this is just foam pour for when I work on smaller pieces but I'm gonna switch over and start using acrylics today subject set up here I'm wearing this it's it's chilly in here so you'll see this bright green neon green sweatshirt every once in a while I'm doing this on an 11 by 14 Liquitex recycled plastic canvas um, I've never used one before so this will be a good test it has a good smooth texture to it I could add some gesso to get a little more but I think I think I'll stick with what I've got there I've got my water I've got my this is a number four filbert uh, rosemary and co I'm gonna try and do the whole thing focus on brush focus on brush I'm gonna try and do the whole thing with with this paintbrush we'll see how far that goes and then I've got my acrylics set out here, ready to go. I just had to pull off the lid to the container. So I'm gonna have to make a conscious, a conscious effort to keep my acrylics and my oil separate. I've been using oils. And in fact, I had to move some that were in here so I wouldn't just grab them like a big dummy and I think we've we've all we've all at one point or another made that mistake. So I'm going to get started by just sort of drawing out the shape of this on canvas, really loose. I don't know. I don't know how much of this I'll be able to catch of the process. Let me see if I can set up this other other tripod over here. Okay, let's see how this works. If it doesn't work very well, I can I can just try and paint this on my on my own without any any video and just kind of catch you up every once in a while. I've been wanting to paint this this typewriter since probably since I've gotten it.
picked up the paintbrush again today and I did this one. I just, I love this old typewriter. So I may do a, a couple more even with it. And I've got another old typewriter, some old cameras, things like that. I like, I like this one better than this one in a lot of ways. The paint is thicker on this one and just has more, I don't know, more density to it. I did add pencil marks to this one just to kind of define it a little bit. And I see something I need to do, of course. This one area right in here is not as too sharp of an edge. So I have to soften that with a pencil. I don't know if you can see the pencil marks on the camera, if it gets through or not. One thing that bothered me about this is the way the paper goes off the side of the, the page. But I just decided to leave it. It's that's where it ended at. And if I'd made it smaller, I just I don't think it would have worked. Okay, I am an idiot. I want to have it on record. <laughs> I did not think of rolling up the paper so that it was shorter and not going off the page. My husband pointed it out, and so that's what I did. So just for the record, and I see that, that white line right there. I want to fix that real quick, but that won't take anything. But that this is where it wound up at, just for the record. So thanks for hanging around with me today. I will catch you next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.